things that I could have shared with them tonight, I kind of, I narrowed it down to five. And the first thing that I, that, and the first thing that, that I came up with, and it's the most important thing, um, number one, keep God first. If there's anything that I learned in my life, is that my Heavenly Father will never abandon me. No matter how many times I turn my back on Him, and no matter how many times my focus is a little cloudy at times, He is always there for me. Sometimes you're going to go through life and you're going to find yourself on the right path. And sometimes you're going to go through life and you find yourself on the wrong one. It's so always understand and have faith that He's there for you. So number one is keep God first. Number two, don't be afraid to fail. A failure is a man who has blundered, but is not capable of cashing in on the experience. Take chances, take risks, do things that make you feel uncomfortable. Surround yourself with people that are way more qualified than you. I've learned that if I'm in a, if I'm in company of people and I'm I'm the most successful, I'm the wealthiest, I'm in the wrong circle. I need to be around people that I feel uncomfortable around because they know way more than me. And that's the circle that I want to be in. One guy that I look up to and you know, sorry, older older people might not know who he is, but um, is that a, a man by the name of Nipsey Hussle. Um, somebody who has, has really been a, a positive influence on me and has changed my perspective on life. He said, if you look at the people in your circle and don't get inspired, then you don't have a circle. You have a cage. Understand that you're the average of the five people that you hang out with the most. So be careful of those five people. Number three, make adversity your friend. Embrace it, love it, celebrate it. And Benjamin Franklin said, the things that hurt, instruct. Salvage something from every setback. Whenever a setback occurs, sometimes we become, we become so emotionally upset that we forget to learn the lesson. Find the lesson, apply it, and then look back on the defeat and smile. I heard someone say once, learn to be very comfortable with being uncomfortable. But through my life, I kind of, I kind of learned to take it, up a, take it up a notch. I've learned to be so comfortable with being uncomfortable that I start to feel uncomfortable when things are comfortable. I've learned that when things are difficult, when things are challenging, when life gets this a little harder to bear, that that's the times that I'm getting stronger, that's the times that I'm getting wiser, and that's the times when I'm becoming the mold that I need to be, that my family needs me to be, and that God needs me to be. Number four, remember and know who you are and be proud of that. And this is probably my, my, my favorite point. Remember who you are. Not who your friends tell you you are, or what society tells you you are, or what, you're, or what you say you are on social media, but who you truly are. One of my favorite movies is Cool Runnings. And in that movie, my favorite scene is when Yul Brynner takes Junior into the bathroom and tells him to look in the mirror. We all know the, the scene. And he asks him an important question. And he asks him to look in the mirror and he says, what do you see? There was a time where I lost sight of who I was. Every morning and every night I would stare at myself in the mirror and ask myself that question. But I couldn't differ differentiate between who I was and what everyone said I was. I would write down quotes and notes on paper and take them to my bathroom mirror in an attempt to try to, re to rediscover who I truly was. But it was all just false bravado. It took a while, but I eventually found my answer. And now when I look in the mirror, I know exactly, exactly who I'm looking at, and, I, and I'm proud of what I see.